Well, 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 what do we have here? A Porsche 911. Guy's just chilling. It's a previous gen, mind you. And it's a convertible, too. But look at how bright those headlights are. It's almost like natural daylight at night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another car spotting vlog here in the beautiful state of California in Beverly Hills. Just going to give you guys a start up on the Beamer. Gonna roll down the window and hit start. And just like that, we are ready to go. Catch you guys on Rodeo. All right, so back on Rodeo Drive, there's a brand new BMW 7 Series right there. That's quite fast for a Camry. facelift S-Class. It's an older Porsche Cayenne. But so far, I mean, it's pretty much the same as last night. Nothing too crazy, at least not yet, but it isn't the weekend anymore, so that may or may not change. Also tomorrow, I plan on doing both a day and night car spotting on Rodeo Drive, so stay tuned for that. It's a Range Rover Sport. I think that one was an SVR. Or, or supercharged, whichever the choice. Because I noticed the red brake calipers, so... There you go. There's our car. Okay. And someone on Discord, by the name of Carbuff, mentioned that somewhere on Rodeo Drive is a store where the owner of a black and yellow Bugatti Veyron parks in front of. He also owns a yellow Rolls Royce Phantom. So, never know, maybe I'll see that. Because, as far as I know, he only parks there during the day because I've only been on Rodeo at night. Hmm. So we've got an S-Class free facelift. It looks like it has the 20 inch wheels. Not a bad spec. And here we have a top of the line Model S P100D supercar killer. And it's got the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Yep. Because high performance cars are nothing 
without high performance tires. That was a GLE. another Model S up here. Let's see. And it is also a P100D. That's unbelievable. Two of the same cars. Yeah, yeah, two of the same car, same color, and the same tires, too. That, okay, I thought it was an AMG at first. That's a Model X, which makes that Range Rover Sport look like a peasant's car. All right, so this car really isn't that special when you're in Beverly Hills, but it's a brand new Lincoln Aviator. Here's a Range Rover Velar. That Let's see, uh, yep, that's an SL. And that is a Jaguar F-Pace. But it's a base model because it's got the halogen headlights. All right. Yep. I think we should head down this way. What do you think? Sure. We'll come back to Rodeo if madness starts happening. So far, I think we're the first ones because we came, well, not quite barreling down the streets. We were going 25 in Sport Plus mode. When you let off the gas in Sport Plus mode in the lower gears, it backfires, so you get the snapping, crackling, and popping, which is always nice. All right, so right up there, looks like there is a Model S and a Porsche 911, previous gen. Oh, look at that. Not sure what kind of Ferrari that is, but it's a Ferrari and it has a crazy wrap on it. It looks like a YouTuber's car. Hmm. But yep. Some Mercedes. a pre-facelift S-Class. I think that might have been the same one I saw. Um, not entirely sure. Back there is a Model S. Brand spanking new. Oh, and it's the 100D. The P100D I saw, but no signal. Interesting. All right, let's go this way. Got another pre-facelift S-Class pulling up into the left turn lane. Right behind a 5 Series. Yeah. And that is a 911 right across there. I think that looks like the new 911. 
full-size Range Rover, pre-facelift, Model S. Hmm, C300. Let's see, I think that's a short wheelbase S-Class. Yep. Pre-facelift, mind you. Still looks brand new, just like that AMG S65 I saw last night in Hollywood. But all I've got to say is gotta enjoy these last few moments in Beverly Hills while I have them because tomorrow's my last full day and when I get back home I'm gonna be pretty busy gotta get some reading done for homework before I go back from spring break and also I've got to get the tires changed on the Mercedes and the Mouse Mobile back to all season because they're currently on their winter tires. Yep, that's one advantage of living in Beverly Hills. Ooh, a black and yellow Lamborghini Urus. That is my dream spec right there. Best SUV in the world, in my honest opinion. And I saw Doug DeMuro's review. He said that the AMG G63 is the most sought after SUV. I kind of disagree. I think it's the Urus. Mainly because it has 641 horsepower from stock and it's the world's first super SUV, even though the Trackhawk will beat it from 0 to 60. But anyway, as I was saying, one advantage of living here in Beverly Hills or pretty much anywhere in California. So you can run summer tires all year round. That was an S-Class Coupe that just went by. All right. Seems like all the nice cars are on this street instead of Rodeo Drive. That's quite unusual. All right, so now we're going to head down this way. There goes the 911. That is, in fact, a new 2020 Porsche 911, 992. Over there is a full-size Range Rover. Pre-facelift Model S. a Ford Mustang GT. And pulling up is a post-facelift Mercedes S-Class. Not only that, it's an AMG S63. Let's see if he'll give it a couple of throttle blips to rev the engine. Maybe when he's done parking. It's a loading zone. Okay. Well, I guess not. That's an orange Lamborghini Urus. So... 
Not a day has gone by where I haven't seen a Lamborghini Urus on this trip. And I'm loving it quite very much. All right. another 911. I think that was a GT3 RS. Though it could have also been a normal GT3. I saw the side decal. And it looks like the wind has started to interfere with the vlog. Well, currently I'm hearing sirens. Here comes a fire truck now. It's like, do people not know how to pull over anymore? Jesus, that Bentega, the Bentega driver didn't even pull over. Not until the fire truck was like moments away from hitting him. It's a brand new facelifted Porsche Macan and yes, it does have the tail light that runs across the entire back. So, yeah, I must have mistaken uh, that for a Porsche Cayenne the other night. Oh, well. Let the haters roll in, baby. They say anything really stupid, I'll just ban them. Nine times out of ten, if they say something that, like, isn't really their worst shot, I won't ban them, but I'll just remove their comment. And they won't even know. That's the beauty of it. Another facelifted Macan. They have a different style uh, daytime running light, so it's an even more aggressive X, so to speak, than the uh, what the Cayenne has. We've got a 3 Series, and here we've got an S-Class Coupe. Actually, it's a Cabriolet. Well, Coupe Cabriolet, it's the same configuration, it's just convertible top versus no convertible top. Well, currently on a one-way street, there's this Maserati GT. I don't know, I mean, Maseratis I'm not really fond of, but at least their older cars are cool, because they actually had Ferrari engines. But when Fiat Chrysler bought them out, that's when they turned to rubbish. See, Range Rover full size. And a Porsche Cayenne. So we're now two streets away from Rodeo, or we will be. New G63.
preface of GLC. I think this is a Boxster, so it's the poor man's Porsche. Over here, got a Rolls Royce Wraith. Wow. And over across the street is a Bentley Molson post facelift. And here we have a gray Lamborghini Urus. Let's see if I can't catch the driver doing a pull. He sees me videotaping. All right. Well, the exhaust sounds nice. He didn't do a pull though. I respect it. Over across the street. Is that another Lamborghini Urus? That's the fourth one in one night that I've seen. But the fifth one today. So yep, another gray Lamborghini Urus. BMW i8. GLE 43 Coupe. And an E-Class Coupe. So now, now I might know why the Rodeo Drive Madness has not been happening the last couple of days. It's because all the nice cars are on the, the streets right next door. But here, got a Rolls Royce Ghost. Wow. Actually, uh... Hold the phone. I take that back. That's a phantom. Yeah, it's a previous generation phantom. This right here is a Dawn. We can still do it. Just run. Actually, Yeah, that's not a phantom at all. It's a. It is, in fact, a ghost. Yeah, I got fooled. Usually I look at the grill and see how big it is. But here we've got a 7 Series. It's usually the big grill and the distinct headlights are the giveaways. And that's how you know. It's a ghost or a versus a phantom. Porsche Panamera. This is the 4S. Close up of the Urus. Black and red interior. And a brand new G63 right behind it. Looks like these cars were valet parked. All right, and we've got a Rolls-Royce Cullinan right there, turning left. Or maybe, I don't know. It's not a left turn lane. We got some matte black Rolls-Royce Cullinan. How about that? Well, it did have its left turn signal on before I started re-recording. 
but then I guess it just accelerated up and it's trying to take a left wherever possible. So, yeah, very interesting. All right, so we're gonna head back to Rodeo. All right, well, we gotta go fast. And there's the moles on, starting up. What a quiet car. So now the SQ5. and a regular Q5. And here's a closer view of the pan or Cayenne from earlier. All right, well, we're one street away from Rodeo. There goes the SQ5. Got a V8 powered Camaro right here. It's the SS. So it's one down from the ZL1. The white one that I filmed the other, the other day, that could have been a ZL1, the one with the wrap. I shouted his I shouted the driver's Instagram out, but uh, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel or not. It might be a YouTuber's car. There goes the Camaro SS with a convertible top. It's a previous Gen G550. And that is a Corvette. I'm pretty sure Beverly Hills will be one of the first places to see the new C8 Corvette. Don't you think? Yeah. So they get all the new stuff first. And lots of it. So much of it, you barely see it anywhere else. Interesting. Yeah, I was wondering, like where people get their tires, you know, some people like to do a lot of burnouts, so they're buying tires like multiple times a year. All right, so back on the infamous Rodeo Drive. Let's go ahead and do one more stroll down this way. So there's a Porsche Cayenne, new G-Wagon across the street. See that one's the G550. A dead giveaway is the front grille. Previously it was hard to tell the difference between the G550 and the AMG G63 or 65, which is now discontinued. But now, one easy way of telling is just look at the grill. That's not you. 
Well, all right then, I guess it's the same story. Not a whole bunch of craziness on this road tonight. Considering it's the most infamous street in Beverly Hills. Hmm. We got a Nissan GTR. Ah. Honda with no headlights on. Well, all right, so that's an Audi A4. And that is an SLK. That's an S-Class. Actually, Hold the phone a second. This, speak of the devil, this is a G65. Yep. These are pretty much going to shoot up in value just like the S65. So this is an AMG G65. One of the last ones ever made. You don't see them every day. So, yeah, I think that one is the one I mistook for a brand new G-Wagon. And it's funny because the new G63 is equally as expensive as the, S as the G65 was. I wonder why that is. Panamera. It's another 4S. P100D. We parked on the right side, so a little bit further up. But yeah, we're just being conscious of our meter time left. So many Model S's tonight. Interesting. Oh, we can go. It literally just turned to a walk. All right, run. There she blows, as silent as a whistle. If you can even consider a whistle silent. Well, just like that, we've made it back to the rental car. And a previous gen M3, right behind it, All right, and we have 19 minutes left to spare. That's awesome, all right. Let's give you guys some snaps, crackles, and pops before I end this video, as I always do. So hit sport, roll the window down, foot on the brake, and press start. Well, 
Smash the thumbs up in the face if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on those post notifications. Do what you do best. And peace out until next time.